what Jesus has demonstrated here is that he has not come to bring condemnation. We are condemned already. He tells us in John 3 that Jesus, the Savior, did not come into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world, that through him the world might be saved. And so wherever you're at in this story, whether you could identify with the woman who's been accused, who feels guilty and broken, feels that your hands are too dirty to lift them up to the Lord in praise, feel like it's no wonder people are throwing rocks at me, I deserve it. Or you're the person that has rocks in hand, ready to judge someone else, ready to throw down on someone else, ready to go to the next level in your anger. You feel totally righteous wherever you're at in the spectrum. Jesus has come to save you from that, from your brokenness, from your self-righteousness. Whether you feel like you're such an expert, you don't need Jesus, or you feel like you're so broken, you don't deserve Jesus. He came to save you. He doesn't judge like this world judges. I know for some of you, it may have been a really big deal to walk in the door today because you've experienced judgment. You've experienced being made to feel less than. And that's the way our world operates. We're constantly sizing one another up. And Jesus says, I did not come to play that game. That's not the reason I'm here. I came not to condemn the world, but that the world through me might be saved. So when Jesus says, I am the light of the world, he's telling us that in a world of darkness, he's that light of hope. In a place that is a desert, barren land, he's a drink of water. And he has come so that we might be saved. That's the reason he came. Would you bow your heads with me for just a moment?